let's learn about linear gradient today here is our canvas with an idea of my canvas and with a width and height of 250 pixels each and we retain our CSS file that is 2 pixels black dotted border yeah once our HTML page loads we check if the browser supports the canvas element and also get context method if it supports get context method we make use of its 2d context and draw a rectangle at 25 pixels x-axis and 25 pixels y-axis with a width of 200 pixels and a height of 200 pixels let's have a look at it on our browser remember by default the color will be transparent black I'll change it to um, maybe I'll change it to red color its fill style is equal to red up to here we have already seen in our previous video tutorials itself but still let's have a look at it on our browser yeah now let's see how to create our linear gradient I'll take a variable called LNR stands for linear using our context object we call create linear gradient method well it takes two points that is four parameters first two are the position of first uh, beginning of the line that is 10 comma 10 10 pixels x-axis and 10 pixels y-axis and the next is ending point that is 10 comma 190 10 pixels x-axis and 190 pixels height that is y-axis so our linear gradients is as as the name suggests it's linear it has a start and end points and the color shifts with the shift of these two lines and there is another method called add color stop it takes two parameters a position and a color in this case I'll give red position takes a value from 0 to 1 so I'll change this position to 0 0.5 and the color to blue next position 1 and the color I'll give green now replace this fill style of red with the variable L N R so this creates our linear gradient with red blue green with 0%, 0 percent 0 0.5 is 50 percent and 1 is 100 percent so this is the gradient look let me drag over here the first point is 10 comma 10 and the second point is 10 comma 190 if we increase the value of x-axis by 30 that is to 30 pixels the line is drawn from 10 comma 10 to 30 comma 190 and the gradient the color somewhat tilts now 50 pixels x-axis so this is how it works it works in a linear fashion it has two points start and end point if we change this point the color gradient changes also note that add color stop has an important role here you could change the colors to each percentage that is starting from 0 to 1 which means 0 0.3 means 30 percent 0 0.7 means 70 percent you could change the color to any of these these percentages but you need to specify the value from 0 to 1 so in our next video we shall see radial gradients also please share this video with your friends on facebook google plus linkedin twitter stumbleupon etc stay subscribed to technotip.com and to our youtube channel and like this video on youtube